Hello everyone, Amy R here with Prairie Paper and Ink and finally time for me to pull out some of the new Lawn Fawn products that I have been hoarding for a while. <laughs> so I'm starting off with the Lawn Fawn Pumpkin Spice set and I'm stamping the cup twice onto some craft cardstock with Hero Arts Intense Black Ink. And then there's this little shaker stamp in the set so I stamped that twice as well. And then I pulled out my Prismacolor pencils, which I have not used in forever either. I got them forever. Well, I've had Prismacolor pencils for 15-ish years, something like that. And yeah, this used to be, you know, the main method of coloring before Copics became a thing and watercolor and all the other fun things. There's so many things. So anyway, I decided I wanted to use my Prismacolor pencils this time. So very simple coloring. I've super sped this up, even though really it didn't take that long it would just make the video really long and boring but I've super sped this up but it took about 10 minutes I think really to color these in I just chose three different shades of kind of an aqua teal color just went from lightest to darkest just to give that little bit of extra dimension to the cups and then I used a couple different shades of brown for the coffee and then for the little shakers I just use those same um, shades of brown and I'm just dotting the color like kind of was somewhat heavily tapping these against the paper to create little dots because you know it's like a little cinnamon shaker a little spice shaker so I did that and then I'm going to use just my white pencil to color in the whipped cream and then I added some more little dots on top of that to make it look like you know it had been sprinkled and then I had a silver prismacolor pencil that I colored the lid of the shaker with so then my coloring is done so I can use the little coordinating die set to die cut both the cups and the little mini shaker and then I also die cut some more craft cardstock using one of the My Favorite Things wonky stitched circle dies. I just thought that'd be a fun little extra element there with that fun little edge. And then I pulled out this very old Love You A Latte stamp set. This is one of my ultimate favorite sets. I, I still remember how hard it was to get this set because it sold out everywhere like it you pretty much needed to like make a sacrifice to the gods or something to get this set so I will never part with it and I pulled it out when I pulled out this little uh, pumpkin spice set because I thought it would of course they just go together perfectly so I stamped and embossed the word smile from that um, love you a latte set with some white um, embossing powder and then while I had everything out I also butted up all the sentiments that come in the pumpkin spice set it's actually three separate stamps but they all have straight edges so you can do this like butt them up really easily without having to fiddle and align everything and all that stuff so that's what I did so I stamped the sentiment all on one line onto some um, teal colored cardstock and then embossed it again with that white embossing powder and before I even embossed it, I made sure this would fit and it did. It fit perfectly within one of the dies in the everyday sentiment banners from Lawn Fawn. So I quickly die cut that. I'm going to set aside the embossed pattern so I don't knock it over. And then I'm using, I've had a lot of people asking about these new My Favorite Things um, A2 rectangle stack sets. Yes, love them. I raved about them in the video when I did the release video Mo almost all the time. If you see me layering rectangles, I die cut them. I just do it off camera. So I used both sets for this because I used the largest rectangle die from each set. I used the one from set one to die cut some brown cardstock and then the one from set two to die cut this per brown perfectly plaid paper from Lawn Fawn. And then I hoard all the strips and leftover pieces of the multicolored plaid from the Lawn Fawn. This is the Perfectly Plaid Fall Pack. This came out last year, which I still love. And this one especially, I'm actually running out of this multicolor. I wish Lawn Fawn would use just an entire pack of this. I always have so many weird requests when it comes to pattern paper, but ah. So I adhered that to, um, adhered everything together using just my Xyron Mega Runner. So I adhered the paper to the cardstock and then added that strip of pattern paper. And then again, shocker of all shockers, I'm kind of going really old school here, is I pulled out some ribbon. I've been getting lots and lots and lots and lots of comments from people asking, are you ever going to use ribbon again? You used to always use ribbon on your cards. Honestly, I don't reach for ribbon at all anymore. It's just not my thing. But every once in a while, like today, I just thought, you know what? I think I've got some ribbon in my stash that would look really cute with this. And I did. So I pulled it out and just added it. I just taped it around the card front and then took a second piece and fiddled with it. I don't pull it tight until I have my bow about as perfect as I'm going to get it. So fiddled with it a bit and then pulled it tight and then I can just trim off um, the tails with a sharp pair of scissors. 
So once that's trimmed off, I can start adhering everything else. So I'm going to pop everything else up with some foam tape. So I centered that die cut circle on the card front with some foam tape. And then I popped up the little cup with foam tape and the little shaker ha is on foam tape as well. And then the sentiment I nearly popped onto there, it is on foam tape, but I flipped it over first and just added a second little piece just to each end because it's popped up higher than everything else. So I didn't want it getting bent or anything like that. So I just quickly added those two little pieces on each end of that. Now I can flip it over and adhere that to my card front. So this is definitely not the end because I went all out on this card. <laughs> so I've got my card front. I now need to do the inside. So I've got my white card base, which is um, four and a quarter by or eight and a half by five and a half. And I scored it four and a quarter. So top folding a two size card. And then I die cut another piece of craft card stock with one of those rectangle dies, as well as the largest die from the lawn fawn lift the flap dynamics or lawn cuts dies i'm getting my companies mixed up here so i did that so it cuts on the three sides there so it cuts that flap and it also adds a fun little stitching edge around it as well so i did that and then i have another piece of this perfectly plaid fall pattern paper and i'm just lining up the um, simple gift card slot dies there's two different dies you can use so i lined up this one and i adhered it down with some micropore tape before running that through my Big Shot machine. And before I start layering everything together, I wanna um, add my sentiments and whatnot. So I took another sentiment from that Love You A Latte set, and I'm going to stamp that onto um, this craft piece of cardstock, making sure to stamp it just below where the score line is. You can't really see it on camera, but it's there. Because with heat embossing, if I stamped it above that score line, um, opening the flap is gonna, it would crack that heat embossing. So I made sure to stamp that right below with my um, Versamark ink, and then I'm gonna heat emboss that with the white embossing powder. That's why I loved that, you know, that Love You Latte set so much, is all these little sentiments with the little steam lines and everything. It's just so cute. So stamped the For You. I thought that was rather appropriate. And then melted it with my heat tool. Gonna funnel back all that embossed powder back in the container. Put the lid on it so I don't knock it over. And then I'm going to remove the excess anti-static powder with my fingers. And then I also have the Push Here stamp set that I showed in a haul video forever ago. And it's got all these fun little sentiments for um, pointing out different aspects of interactive cards. This isn't necessary with this card, but I have the set and it's really cute and I wanted to use it. So I pulled out the Open Here stamp and I'm going to ink that up with the black ink and just stamp that right below the little opening for the gift card. And then there's this cute little arrow stamp as well in the set. There's multiple little arrows, you know, and fingers and all that kind of stuff to point at what you want the recipient to do. So I stamped that because I just thought it was adorable. And then I'm going to adhere my little coffee cup with my uh, Mega Runner. And then I'm going to adhere my little shaker with the Mega Runner as well. Just holding it kind of with the tip of my finger there because that's kind of a big adhesive applicator. But it works on little small pieces like that. So get this adhered and then I need to adhere this to the pattern paper. So I wasn't thinking at this point and I put the adhesive on the back of the pattern paper. I shouldn't have done this. I should have waited. But when you apply the adhesive, make sure you don't apply it to those little die cut flap areas because you want those to be able to pop up to hold your die cut or to hold your gift card. And then for this piece, you only want to apply adhesive around the perimeter. You don't want to apply any adhesive to the flap. The same thing, you want to be able to lift it up. So this is where I was like, crap, I shouldn't have put these on the pattern paper because I wanted to make sure these were lined up before putting them on the inside of the card. But it still worked. I was able to peel it up off of my craft mat here before adhering this to the inside of the card. So I got everything adhered, then press that down onto the inside. And then I'm going to adhere my card front, same thing using my Mega Runner. So just going around the perimeter and the center just making sure to apply a generous amount of adhesive because with all the layers and the ribbon and everything, it's a little bit bumpy and lumpy. So I'm going to get that adhered and then I can um, insert my gift card, which of course is Starbucks because it's just appropriate for this. So I had a gift card in my stash that worked perfectly. So I'm going to slide that into the little flaps and that's just hidden under that little flap on the inside of the card, which I just think is so cute. I love it. So that finished off the card for the most part. I had to add a few little embellishments. So I pulled out my Nouveau drops in white and then I'm going to add some Caribbean Ocean 
And then finally, I'm going to add some Golden Sunset, which is a glitter drop. It looks a little more cloudy when it first comes out, but then it, when it dries, it's glittery and just gorgeous and perfect for fall. You can see it better in the pictures at the end. So that finished off my card. So this is part of a huge blog hop that anyone can participate in. I'll have the info about it in my blog post, which will be linked directly below the video. There's all kinds of like giveaways and different things going on. But yeah, coffee lovers, blog hop, anyone can play along. I will also have another giveaway going on on my blog. So check out my blog post linked below the video. Thank you all so much for watching and subscribing and thumbs upping and commenting on my videos. I appreciate it so very much. And I will see you all very soon in the next video. Bye.